Today is the Tuesday in the third week of Ordinary Time. It's a celebration of our Feast of Titus and Timothy, two of the co-workers of Paul, who he later designated as overseers for uh, two of the cities where he had previously preached. So we honor them, and we also call to mind all those who are responsible for the life and for the inspiration of the particular uh, churches in which they work. Our gospel today comes from the gospel according to Mark. The mother of Jesus and his brothers arrived at the house. Standing outside, they sent word to Jesus and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my mother, my brother, and my sister. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel today may strike us as uh, shocking in some respect to hear that Jesus left his poor mother standing at the threshold of the house and wouldn't go out to her. But I think Jesus is making a much more important uh, statement here. At the time of Jesus, the family unit was the most important structure for any individual. It was the structure in which he depended for his life. And in addition to the extended family, the local village was also important for survival. And devotion, dedication to those units, social units, was very, very important. And of course, the nation too was important. In our own time, family bonds have become less important as people have gained independence and so become more self-reliant. Uh, and we also are probably less dedicated to the locales in which we are born. Neighborhoods don't play the same significant role. But the reality is we are still very tribal in our thinking. We generally only associate, socialize with people of our own social class, our own race, and certainly we know nationalism is still very, very much alive. The message of Jesus and the message of Paul yesterday was that the faith is not a matter of a tribe, but rather something shared and open to anyone from the whole world. By joining and taking part within our community, we unite ourselves with Christians everywhere who claim the name of Jesus. And so today, let us pray that our own hearts will be expanded to be more inclusive, to be more accepting of people who are different from us and to recognize in them that they are fellow disciples, that we together journey to the Lord.